How's it going, fellas and the files? This is Dominic from Film Overload, the channel where we talk about movies, pop culture, and everything in between. And finally, finally, Marvel slash Disney has announced, finally, the cast for Marvel's first family, the Fantastic Four. And I'm kind of surprised by this by this group here. Um, Vanessa Kirby... She was my second choice behind Emily Blunt, so I'm not super, you know, upset about that. I think that's a pretty solid choice. Uh, Joseph Quinn, which took me by surprise, I think, the, the most. Um, I've only seen him in Stranger Things, and I know he's in Gladiator 2 coming up here pretty soon. I know that um, Ebon recently won an Emmy, and he's playing Ben Grimm. Um Pedro Pascal to me, though, however. Yes, I know Pedro Pascal is a very hot actor in Hollywood right now. He's in The Last of Us. He's in The Mandalorian. He's going to be in the upcoming Mandalorian and Grogu movie, which I'm not even going to get into. Um, uh, but he's a very hot actor right now, so I can see why Marvel, a.k.a. Disney, decided to go with Pedro Pascal. I just personally think... He just doesn't fit the role, in my opinion. I just don't see him as Reed. When I think of Reed Richards, I think of, I don't know, I just think of someone who's just, I don't know, I guess just comic accurate. I mean, I'm just so, I'm just so used to seeing these characters in the books. And so when it's, I just don't picture Pedro as read Richards. But once again, that's just my personal opinion. And you can read this whole article on the Hollywood Reporter right now. But that's not the most interesting thing about this whole thing. If you scroll down, the movie has already been delayed. Um, apparently, this film has been already delayed. Um, no, it's been shuffled, but that's just Marvel at this point. They're just shuffling dates all over the place. I mean, just to kind of fill in certain gaps and I don't know, maybe recut or reshoot some movies because I'm pretty sure right now they're in pretty big panic mode probably for some of these projects just because of the trajectory of the box office for this company. The Fantastic Four are a cornerstone in Marvel's mythos with writer Stan Lee and artist Jack Kirby introducing the team in 1961's Fantastic Four number one, the very comic that would launch the Marvel Universe and also says here, no, the casting for the team was very closely watched. John Krasinski played a version of Reed Richards in Doctor Strange and the Multiverse of Madness. I was super excited to see him in Multiverse of Madness. I was like, yes, finally, we're getting, they're listening to the fans. And then they just killed him. And I was like, you gotta be kidding me. So it was almost like Disney's way of saying, hey, we know what you want, but here's what we want. And it was like, oh, come on, come on. Come on, really? <laughs> really? I'm not expecting anything from Fantastic Four. I am not expecting anything. Um, the way they've handled the MCU since Avengers Endgame has been horrible, in my opinion. Just horrible. There are no characters to emotionally latch onto. These stories are just banking off of the stupid multiverse, which I was telling people a long time ago. I said the multiverse is not a good idea. It's a mess and multiverses are just absolutely lazy forms of writing, and we are seeing that now, and it's showing in the box office. So, in my opinion, the Fantastic Four is super easy to adapt, in my opinion, but I don't expect them to adapt this well at all. I just know they're going to do something that's just that just won't feel right, which will anger a bunch of people, and I'll make another video when this film comes out eventually saying, well, this is that feeling I had come to fruition because I just have this gut feeling. It's Disney. Um, same thing with Deadpool and Wolverine. It's 100% Disney now, and I don't trust Disney at all. So only time will tell. So that's it. And guys, I want to know, 
What are your thoughts on this casting? Me personally, I'm kind of mixed feelings on this casting, but I want to know your opinions on this casting. So leave a comment down below about the decision that Marvel made for this cast. If you guys want to see more forms of content like this, hit that like button. Also hit subscribe while you're at it and turn on the post notifications so that you guys can get notified every single time that I post a video. You can follow me on Letterboxd, which is right here. I post all of my movie reviews on Letterboxd as it helps me keep track of movies that I have watched, movies that I haven't watched, and movies that I will watch. I think you guys will benefit greatly from this app and this website if you are indeed lovers of cinema like myself. As always, guys, happy movie watching. Take care.